Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have a book for you today, one of my rare book reviews. We have Masquerade by... I'm going to butcher this. Gailey Linz? Gail Linz? Anyway, I'll, I'll put it in the, the name of the video, but... Masquerade here is the story of a woman who wakes up with amnesia and then, you know, finds out that she's part of a CIA thingy. It's hard to explain. First off, let me explain something. One-word titles are not necessarily a bad thing, but before you name your book, Google the title to see if there are any books named that already. I'm pretty sure this is not the first book named Masquerade. And Masquerade could almost be replaced with the word story in terms of writing because almost every story has a plot twist now. Almost every one of them. You know, there's almost nothing where it can't be in some way described as a masquerade. And in this particular case, there's a lot of double and triple and quadruple crossing. There's a lot of people coming out there and saying, yes, ha, I had you fooled, sort of a thing. It's so common that it's really hard for me to remember who the characters are. I mean, the, the initial character isn't who they tell her she is. Car, and this book is kind of confusing. Now, this is not to say this book is particularly bad. It's not particularly good either. It's very middle ground, and that's the thing. Is if you like spy novels with lots of characters that are kind of confusing, you're probably going to really enjoy this book. I've never been a big fan of spy novels. I mean, this book was lent me by a friend. I need to get it back to him, although he lost all the books I gave him, so that's kind of neither here nor there. But anyway, uh, say la vie. Oh, did I mention a lot of this book takes place in both America and France? Yes, France. There's a spa. Like I say, if you're a super James Bond fan and you've seen every James Bond movie, you're probably going to love Masquerade. If you're not a big James Bond fan, and you know, you could take or leave those movies, this is going to bore the heck out of you. Anyway, I'm Richard Neal, that's my opinion. You probably got your own opinion. Why don't you tell me about it down in the comments below. And while you're down there, you can hit the like or dislike button, and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. But, hey, any kind of interaction is good for my channel, so interact all you want. Maybe hit both like and dislike. That would be really funny. Alrighty there. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.